Welcome back. I think for my next project, ignore my crappy drawing, but I'm just gonna make a simple handle. I'm gonna make it two to one as far as the, the hammer head versus the handle. Um, I really just wanna have a, a reason to turn down, to skim off some material, um, put a threaded end on one rod and actually a, um, a female thread on the other so that I can attach the two pieces. Um, I'm not going to use the lathes threading capabilities yet. I'm going to try to use a tap and die set, but for now this is really about turning down some material. This is going to be my handle. Um, I believe this is uh, cold rolled steel. I just got it from the hardware store. Um, it's about, you know, half inch in diameter. It's not nothing complicated. Um, but the idea is to turn this, turn this down, clean it up, and then use my tap and die, put, put a chamfer on the ends, maybe a slight taper on the base and the head. I'm going to put a small thread so I can attach it to the head. So here's another three inch piece. I'm going to make this the head. And my idea here is not to make attachable faces. I think what I'm going to do is use, uh, on one end, I think I'm going to make, uh, like if, if here's the, the hammer head, let's say, I think what I'm going to do is just make a, a gradual, uh, taper or so, but with a blunt nose on it, you know, something kind of like that for one of the ends and the other end, if you're looking at it, this may be more of a, a chisel. So this would be round all the way around and this from the side view would kind of have a, a chisel tip, but not rounded. I suppose it could It'd be easier to use the lathe, but I was thinking more uh, flat um, to where we would cut off, let's say, grab a Sharpie. Let's say we just cut that and that. And we cut off all of this material and this material. And we leave just this. And of course it may would, you know, kind of have a tip there and then come up flat. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn both ends, make them round conical on both sides. One end I will I will make flat like this and the other I will I will make a, a, like a bull nose. So it'll be a lot like this but both ends will be conical and then this one would actually be flat. Flat and this one would have a curved bull nose on it for just different uses. So that's going to be a simple little project. Oh, and then here in the center, I would uh, tap and drill and thread thread to receive the handle, something like that. So that's what I'm going to work on. Um, this video, it's I haven't done a lot of this yet. I haven't gotten into a, too many projects. I've posted a few, but this is going to be more of a learning process to learn how to turn materials and set them up and you know and just make something sort of practical uh, so I'll bring you back I'm gonna get set up in the lathe and, uh, and we'll start turning welcome back here's here's the setup I've got my uh, half inch I believe it's cold rolled round bar again I got it from the hardware store um, I don't have a, a real plan, so to speak. I'm not really going with some master image in my head. Just trying to make something somewhat functional and uh, practice turning and, and using the lathe more. First step I plan on doing is turning down the face. This will be the base of the handle. I'm gonna turn this down flush and then I'm gonna put a slight taper on the end. Um, doesn't really need to be much, maybe I don't know, maybe an inch, half inch up, just a slight taper down just to finish the end and then I'll chamfer the edge. 
and that'll complete the base. Um, I will use some emery cloth and things to clean this up, but I don't really want to turn it down much. I'd like it to remain as thick as possible, especially for the hammer and the head. So we're just going to go ahead and work on that and, uh, and I'll just let you watch. If Here we go. Too bad good enough for the for the handle and again i'm gonna use some emery cloth and uh, scotch bright to really polish and clean this up but just wanted to face that off that's that's good enough um now what we're gonna do is see if we can't come back i think i might take change the angle of this a little bit to come up and bring out my top side so I've got some clearance. Come over on this angle. And then that way when we come across, I'm just gonna come in right about there and just finish it off at a slight taper. Put a little mark there. Let's see, we come in about an inch. Come in about an inch. I don't think we'll, we'll do three quarters of an inch. Something like that. And that's where we will begin our slight uh, taper. So I'm not looking for much. All right, I'm sure there's a better way to do this. Maybe coming in from the opposite side, um, remove the tailstock might be a little safer. I believe this is all going to clear. Um, that's as far in as I'm gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna clear, I just, I just don't like I just don't like this setup, but um, it's what I got. I'm gonna be careful, pay attention, and uh, we're just gonna cut a slight, like I said, a slight taper. Not looking for much, just a way to kind of finish the end. So let's slowly start this off. About a thousand RPMs, I guess. Let's touch off. Chip away at it. That's going to be too too aggressive of a cut. 
we start out here, bring it in. This is too dangerous. I'm gonna come up with something else. This is not how I should be working on this. All right, I set this up coming in from the opposite direction. Let me bring you back here so you can see it. Uh, this is gonna be, I'm, I'm sure so many people are just cringing at the way that I'm doing this stuff. But again, I'm just trying to learn if I see something super dangerous, I'm gonna rethink it. I don't wanna get hurt and I don't want, uh, you know, to do things haphazardly and dangerous. You can get hurt with these machines. You gotta respect them and be careful. Um, so what I'm gonna do is come at it from this angle. That'll keep my hands and, and knuckles and tooling and things and cross slides away from the jaws spinning. Um, I just see a catastrophe if I continue down that road. So let's try this again. I'm going to bring this in and we're just gonna put a slight taper. It doesn't have to go all the way back to that one inch mark, but uh, I do want to try and and put some of, somewhat of a taper on the end. I actually don't even mind just that small one there, but I, I wanna clean it up a little bit better. So let's get this spinning again and try it. I think that's pretty good. I don't want to point on the end. Ignore that one inch line. I just wanted to taper the end of it. I think that's just fine. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a chamfer on the end of that. Let's take this off. other one in. Tighten it down. Oh, it's a quick change. It is better than the other one, but it ain't super fast quick change. I'll tell you that. Let's bring this out a little bit. About there. We just want to cut that sharp corner off. Let's get this going. About five, six hundred RPMs. That'll do. Loosen this up. The carriage. Tighten it down sometimes so it doesn't move. And there we go. Hmm. Not very pretty. Let's get a longer strip. Let's try to knock down some of that. Um, what we'll do is pull this out knock off a bunch of much as we can till we get up in the where the thread will be tighten that down just try to clean it up I'm gonna use some I'm going to call that 
It's a little warm, not bad. I'm gonna say that's a that's good enough for the handle. I just wanted to put a chamfer, a little edge, just to make it look like an end. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. We're gonna set back up, work on maybe the hammer head, because um, I've got this set up for tapers, and that's about the the taper I'm looking for. Maybe a little bit more aggressive um, on the head, because I just want to have one bull nose and one um, one flat nose. So. And then we'll come back and bring this back to put in, turn it down in order to decide what thread that we want to put on it to attach the head. Okay, we're going to continue on. I'm going to face this off and again, cut just, this is the hammer head. And I showed earlier in the video that I just want a couple chamfers on either side of the head and one with a bit of a rounded bull nose and the other with uh, more of a flat nose. And so let's get this started. Um, and we'll start facing it off first and then we'll see what kind of chamfer we can get. chamfer and then I think we'll use the this side we'll do the rounded and then uh, we'll come back and do the other so let's we'll come in here and we'll touch off touch off to the face and then I'm gonna lock down the carriage come back out just a little bit that way I don't get any deflection back and forth. I still wanna figure that out. One of these days I'm gonna take this compound completely apart and see if I can figure out what the backlash is. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Again, it's a cheap lathe. So let's see if we can get our uh, taper on there. I think that's that's where I want it. Uh, I'm gonna bull nose that around. Get this out of the way. Take a look at what we got. Get some of these chips out of here. The yeah. So I'm just gonna use a file to round this end over. The the next end I, I just want it to be flat. So I'm gonna have one flat end and I'll, I'll cut these corners off with the file, and then the other will be rounded. So let's go ahead and do the, the rounded end since it's here and we've got our file ready to go. All right, shut that off. Uh, I'll get this flipped around and we'll do the same thing, except we're gonna go for a flat, uh, a flat nose on that versus the rounded. And that will be the next step for the hammerhead. We got our part, the hammerhead, I'm calling it uh, flipped around. Let's get this 
spinning and start with this taper. And this time again, it's gonna be a flat surface, not a bull nose or rounded. I think I'm gonna call that good. I like that. And now we will knock the corner off and get this out of the way. It's pretty good. I don't like the sharp corner, so we're gonna knock that off, but I'm, I'm just gonna use the file. Um, actually, I'm not gonna use the file because I have a lathe. Let's use the lathe. Loosen that up. Take this off. Put this one on. Tighten it up. Bring it out. There we go. And let's get the chamfer. a uh, little bit of sanding on here and clean this up and then this portion of the head will be completed. Okay. Let's see what we did. There's our hammerhead. Bring it up here. See, I got the, the bull nose, it's what I was going for, and then I got a flat head. Oop, there we go. There's a flat head, and then the bull nose, a little bit rounded. Gives me a couple options for tapping things in. And then finally, our next step for the head is going to be drill and tap a hole to receive the handle. Uh, when I get that set up, I'll bring it back. set up again we're going to put a little bit of a thread on the end of the hammer well it would be the top part that will attach to the head of the hammer i need to turn this down to uh, about four tenths of an inch this is half inch material just uh So I want to bring that down 10 hundredths, or what would that be, a hundred thou? Still learning. So let's get this turned down to 0.4. Well, I'm gonna bring you back here. I'm gonna drill this hole in the head to prepare for the tap that I'm going to use. I don't have any bottom taps. This is the closest tap that I have that will go the deepest. And I've got uh, the die to go along with it for the handle. The rest of these, this is a cheap set, but if you can see most of those just won't go deep enough in order to penetrate the half inch material that I'm using. Anyway, this is a pretty janky setup. I need to get a, uh, a vise you know, one of those table vices or the ones where you can hold material, move it around. This is not going to work very well, but I'm not going to record this because I don't have a setup in this back workshop, but I am going to attempt to drill this hole. I do have a depth set. I already measured that, so I won't go through the, the top of that. And I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see. Be right back. I had to switch to a different setup. This is hot. I could not get, I don't have the right tools uh, in order to use a drill press. It was moving over, it wasn't drilling um, straight down through the material. So I switched over to the vise. 
And I think that's gonna work out pretty good. It's pretty hot. I'm gonna get it out of there and let it cool down. I'm gonna move on to the uh, shaft now and then we'll come back and tap this. Um, like I said, it's, I'm gonna use this tap. It's pretty darn hot. Let's get it out of that, uh, out of this vise. Probably melt it in there. That's warm. Yowza. Yeah, I think it melted it. That's all right. That stuff's all sacrificial. Get this over here. We're going to let this cool down and we'll get that cleaned up. I think that's going to work for what we're doing. It's better than. Uh, I was on, I was getting off track. You can kind of see on this backside. And I, uh, I decided to switch over to the vise. So now we're going to go make the other end. We're going to leave this in here, but the other side for the handle. Let's go mount you up in the lathe and see if we can't screw that thing up. All right. Let's see what we can do here. This one's a little more forgiving. Don't need to go any farther than that. What we're trying to do is turn this down to 0.4, 4 tenths of an inch for 40 thousandths. I don't know. I got to learn the terminology. Um, but as you can see, again, that's half inch. I need to remove about uh, one hundredth, or I guess maybe is that 10 thou? We'll figure it out. This is all learning. So I'm gonna turn this down until we remove about 10 thou, or uh, 100 thou. Still 0.41. I gotta take a little more off of there because I don't think I can get the idea is to get this tap on. But yeah, some more's gotta come off of there. This die, sorry. Yeah, let's bring that down another. What would that be? Another five thousand maybe. See where that is right now. Not a lot of talking because I'm just trying to figure this out. There we go. That I think that might that might work. Just to get this started. Oh yeah. So now what I want to do is get this die started. And I'm gonna go back over to my vice and just do this by hand. Um, I think it'll be less frustrating, but I am gonna chamfer this edge and uh, we'll deal with this later. I may chamfer this. I'll take a little bit off of that too. Let's bring that out a little bit before we go messing with it so we don't hit the chuck jaws. There we go. Okay, let's get this out of here. I think I'm done with the lathe work for now. And I wanna tap the top of that so that it can go into the, the head. All right, we're gonna continue on with the mini hammer project. Um, I'm gonna try to deburr the hole that I made before we tap it. Um, I can either use this drill bit drill bit uh, that's oversized just to cut that off. I may use that. I'm going to try this tool. I'm not sure how, if this is sharp enough, but that's why I bought it. We'll see how that does. Just don't want to cut myself. I know it works well on aluminum. 
seems to do okay here. I think I'm gonna switch to the to the drill bit. We're gonna put this in the vise. Let's just uh, deburr it using using this. Um, this is where I drilled it to begin with. Let's get this wiped off a little bit. Put that back in here and get this drill bit in the drill and we'll just deburr it with this I think it'll be a little bit better I don't want to go too aggressive Pretty. But I think it'll be fine. Might file that down a little bit later. But it's going to be fine. You're not really going to see that. I don't really care. I just wanted to knock some of that off. I'm going to use a file and get some of this, some of this other stuff off of here. We get some oil, get it set up. I'll bring you back, and then uh, we'll go ahead and and tap this piece. Okay, let's go ahead and tap this. A little difficult to see, but I got it mounted there. I'm just gonna set you here, and uh, we'll just get this done. Um, I do have my setup, my uh, tap set up. We're just gonna get this started and go down as far as I can. Try to keep it as parallel as possible and even put a little bit of WD-40 in there. Give it a little bit of lube. I'll keep this as level as I can, get it started. I'm not going for precision, I'm just going for just going to get it tapped. Well, we got the threads tapped on the handle. 
again, this is, if anything, I'm gonna call this a prototype hammer. Um, it is not gonna be perfect. I just wanna make something that looks and resembles like the thing that I set out to do. Let's clean up these threads and then we'll do a test fit. Knock off the high spots. Use some scotch bright. Kind of deburr it. Let's do a test fit. Well, we set out to make a mini hammer. Um, and let's see if the two parts actually will come together and form something that resembles a hammer. Um, you know, I did try to deburr this, you know, to try to get these to screw together nicely. I think the handle turned out a lot better. It's it's a little too long, obviously, uh, for the depth of of the the ham hammerhead. But you know, maybe someday I can make a bushing or a brass sleeve or something. But for now, let's just see what we got. Let's see if this thing will screw together. There we go. Again. I'll get it here. It's not the threads I wanted, I just don't have the right taps and, and equipment. Again, I just wanted to, you know, there's different ways to go. I could have just pegged it, put a all the way through with a peg and then just put some super glue in there for no more than this hammer will be used. But I wanted to test my my ability to make some threads. Doesn't want to go on there very well. This is all chewed up. I'm sure that's the problem. Let me uh, see if I can clean that up a little bit. Again, this is not designed to be pretty. Just trying to get it to go together. Get some of that off of the inside of there. This side. A couple high spots. See what that does. It's not gonna be perfect if it even goes on there at all. Kind of wants to go sideways. And again, I didn't have any precision style uh, ways of mounting this stuff perpendicular. Anyway, you get the idea. It's going in there a little crooked, but for now, there we go. I made a hammer. Um, I'm gonna, off camera, this is just getting to be too long and boring, but uh, you get the idea. You know, you get an idea, you start making something, you learn from mistakes. Obviously, I need to do better with these threads and, and figure out what's wrong there, but, but I do have a, a hammer that I could, you know, say that I made. It resembles sort of what the idea I was going for. And, uh, you know, you got to start somewhere. Um, I do want to just state that these videos are not designed to show any level of experience or competency or maybe not that, 
I'm not incompetent, but I don't have any skills or knowledge of, of this trade. I'm just trying to learn. I don't know all the terminology. I don't know what the right thing to say is or not. I'm just trying to learn and have fun doing it. So it's, this is really designed for people that want to get into it or are curious about buying one of these mini lathes, you know, just wanting to maybe make some parts or hammers or, or pens or, you know, there's all kinds of things you can make and improve on. And that's what this series is about. That's what this channel's about is uh, how to do things yourself so you don't have to pay someone else to do it. Um, keep that in mind as you're watching these. I know uh, there's a lot of cringeworthy moments with how I set things up in the lathe, how I'm how I'm fitting parts. You know, this this isn't right, but I'll work on it. I'll make it better. Um, just keep that in mind as you're watching this. I, I'm not an expert. I will get better in time, but I'm just doing it to have fun. Um, so these videos are not going to be polished in the sense that I have a perfectly machined part that goes together all, you know, exactly as I designed it. You know, you just watched me do the first thing I've ever made before, and it didn't come out very well. But the idea is there. Um, I can easily improve on this and make it a little bit better. Um, this handle doesn't need to be so long. I can redo the threaded end. It, it, there's all kinds of things I can do to continue to work with this this material it's not totally trashed um it just needs to be you know cleaned up and, and worked with a little bit more so but again i just wanted to say in summary on this on this video and and the entire channel really you know nobody has been harsh in the comments but but as time goes on i'm sure that will change if i continue to do this um just just remember what it is that this channel's about this is uh, not uh supposed to be an expert channel with with uh, you know, complete knowledge of, of what I'm doing. It's really just for entertainment to show people, hey, you can do this too. Hey, you can fix things yourself. You don't need to pay somebody to fix that. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Uh, there's a, a mini hammer that's made and I could pound something in with that as it is. But again, I'll fix this later. I'm not gonna do it on camera. I just wanted to get a video out and show that you know, there's different things you can do, but the only way you're going to learn is to get in there and do it. So hope you enjoyed. Um, hope you understand the, the whole concept of this channel and this video, especially this Vivor mini lathe series. And uh, I'll keep them coming uh, as long as it's fun, as long as people enjoy. Thank you.